In this video, we're going to look at the concept of a sinking fund. So imagine we have a company that has just purchased a brand new truck. Now the owner of the business, he knows that the value of this truck is going to decrease over time. That's just called depreciation. Because in a few years from now, the components in the truck, they would have been used and the truck's value will just be less. And at that moment, the owner of the company would perhaps want to purchase a brand new truck. And they, so what they're going to do on that day is they're going to sell the old truck and then have an, hopefully have enough money saved so that they can contribute to be able to buy a brand new truck. But now another thing that the company owner knows about is that the value of a new truck is going to be more than what it is today and that's something called inflation. So the value of his current truck is going to get less and the value of a brand new truck is going to get more. So he needs to be able to save up enough money so that he can add in the difference. So let's see with an example what we actually mean by this. So let's say that the cost of this new truck that he bought, let's say this is in 2000 and let's say it's 2019 and he buys this truck for 1 million. Now we want to know what the value of that truck will be in five years time. So in 2024. So that value of that truck will decrease due to depreciation. And so we'll use this formula over here. So we've got a minus. Now let's say that the, de the depreciation value is about 6%. And that's never compounded monthly. That's always compounded yearly. So then we can work out the price of that truck or what it will be worth in 2024. And so the value of his truck will be worth 733,904 rand and 02 cents. All right, now on that same day, he's going to want to purchase a new truck. So let's see what the new truck is going to cost. Okay, so this is going to be the old truck. And now let's look at the price of the new truck. Well, that's due to inflation. And let's say that the average rate of inflation was 7%. So then we can use this formula and we can work out what this truck that he bought in 2019, we can see what a similar model will cost in five years time. Because you'll want to buy a brand new one again. So the new truck is going to be worth 1.4 million or 1402551.73. Okay, so now we have to be able to analyze what's just happened here. So his old, well, his truck that he's bought now in 2019, that's going to decrease in value. So by the time 2024 comes, his truck will be worth that amount. He'll probably be able to sell it to someone. The, the new truck that he'll want to buy at that time, will be 1.4 million. So how much money will this truck owner have to have saved up by that time? Well, he needs 1.4 million, but he's going to sell this truck for 733,000. So he'll only need to have the difference between those numbers. And if you subtract those two numbers from each other, you end up with 668,647 rand and 71 cents. So I should be putting rand for each of these. But this is the value that the truck owner will need to have saved up in those five years. So what he does, or he or she, is on the day that they purchased this truck in 2019, they asked their accountants to do a quick calculation to get an estimate of what they might need to be of, of how much they would need to have saved by the time 2024 come. And the accountant approximates or estimates that the new truck that they'll need to purchase is that amount. They'll be able to sell their old truck for that amount. And so they're going to need an extra 668,000. So what they do in 2019 is they will set up a sinking fund. All it is, is a future value account where they will make regular payments. So the owner of the truck company knows how much money they're going to need. They're going to need a future value of 668,647.71 Rand. They don't know how much they're going to have to save every month. Let's say that the bank offers them an interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. 
So that will, if it's for five years, that'll be 60 payments. We're not gonna change anything now from starting late or anything like that. And then we can go and work out the value of X. And that is the amount that the, the truck company would need to save every month from 2019 up to 2024 so that they'll have enough money to purchase the new truck. So let's see how much their monthly payment will have to be. They'll need to save 8,187 Rand and 22 cents. So that is how a sinking fund works. You buy something, but then you want to replace that item in a few years time and you know that the value of your item will become less, that's depreciation. The value of the new model will go up, that's called inflation. And so you're going to need a bit of money, you're going to need a bit of extra money. Because if you sell the old item, that still won't be enough money to cover the cost of the new item. And that's where the sinking fund comes in. You, you, you create a sinking fund to be able to purchase the new item in a few years time.